In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use VirtualDub to edit your videos. VirtualDub is a free, excellent video editing program that will allow you to edit all your videos. Now, I have an icon saved to my desktop, VirtualDub right here. Let's just show you how to get it. You just open up a browser, type in VirtualDub. It's the first result that comes up on the page. Go to Downloads, Virtual Dub at SourceForge. Right under Release Build should be the first link. Should open up a download box right away. There it is. Just click OK. If it doesn't save it on your desktop, it's easy to find. You know, just basically go to type in Virtual Dub here. It's the first result. Just open it up. And to make it more convenient to use from time to time, the actual file is vdub.exe. Just take this and manually just drag it onto your desktop and this is what you'll get right here, an icon. And that's it. You have the program. Let's open it up. And the first thing you want to do is go to File and open the video file that you want to edit. Now, this is a video. Let me just right click and play it for a moment. It's a video that I took about birds or whatever. And here's another video that I took. It's like about fish. So let's go back to File. You have to go to Open Video File, which I just did. Now let's open this video about the birds. So it's into Virtual Dub right now. Now let's say you want to add this video to another video that you took. So let's say the video about the fish. I want to combine this video with the fish because let's say if you have two different video files, you're going to have to make two different videos. Let's say if you load it to YouTube or if you let's say you want to burn it on a DVD you have to play around with two files so it's easier and more convenient just to put everything in one file it's more organized so if you want to combine it with another file you have to go to append AVI segment it's also going to open up your videos that you want to include so here's the video with the fish let's say let's say I want to include that and combine that with the video with the birds that I have already included in virtual dub so there you go now the two videos are combined. So now we can actually preview it by dragging the timeline across with my mouse. Now watch as I do that. This is the entire video. Video with the birds, right? And here's the video with the fish. Now let's say you want to, to put the video with the fish before the video with the birds. So it's basically very easy. It's first come first serve with this type of program you just include the first video that you want to be at the beginning part of the video and the second video to be at the second part of the video you include that by going to append AVI segment the append AVI segment means that's going to be the video in the second part of it so it's very simple the first video you add is the one that shows first the second video that you do with a penned AVI segment is the one that shows towards at the end. Very easy. Now that you have both videos combined, let's say you see some footage that you don't like and you want to take it out. So you can also preview the video. It actually has a built-in media player. You can actually watch the whole thing. And you can see as it goes. You could just fast forward it by pushing the mouse right here. You just press stop to pause it. Now let's say you want to take this area out. Let's say this piece over here, this snippet. You just for some reason you don't want it, whatever it is. It's very simple. Let's say from timeline 600 to 800. You just click this little arrow over here. It's pointing to the left it's gonna make an arrow see that black arrow from 600 and you want to get rid of everything from 6 to 800 then you just click on the arrow on the right and it's gonna highlight everything in light blue now that's the selected area that you want to remove now all you have to do is if you want to remove this area you just go to edit cut and that section is gone it's very simple so let's say you're very happy with everything you have the whole video is here it's all combined you took everything out that you didn't like. Now you want to save it. 
Now this is very important. Many people that use virtual dub they can't understand. When they save the video, it's this huge gigantic file. Like these two files are probably about 35 megabytes altogether. It can turn that 35 megabyte file into 500 megabytes. It's very unmanageable. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that you select by going to video. You select direct stream copy. Don't forget that. Direct stream copy. Now this is important because the issue with virtual dub is it always saves its defaults and it's always as at full processing mode. This is not good because it makes the video huge. So always select direct stream copy and after you do that then you save the video. Now to save the video you go to file and you go to save segmented AVI. Now name the file call it uh, fish bird vid whatever and you just go to save and now it's gonna save the file look how fast it goes it's like wow it's really quick and there it is it's right on my desktop now let's open it up and play and see how it how it works Well, it looks really good. Let's just fast forward it a bit. Here's the fish video that I added. It all looks great. And it really, it really copied it quickly too. It's a very, very fast video editing program. And let's see how big the file is. Let's see its size. 37 megabytes. Very manageable. Actually, it's... Uh, just about the same size as those two combined videos. There was no changes to the to the size of the videos. So there you go. How to use virtual dub to edit your videos. Please comment and rate this video. Please subscribe and thank you for tuning in.